plans, but not really. Right now we're going to a house meeting, but I'm not gonna share that yet because I don't know if this is for sure yet because if you haven't seen my other videos, obviously someone can still take our lot if they are like ready to build right now and we wanna wait till next year, so I'm not getting too excited. But we're going to this little meeting about it, deciding what we want, some of the stuff, so we're gonna see. After that, we actually have our little Valentine's Day lunch we're going to this restaurant that i love it is so good like the bread in the beginning with the butter so good i'm gonna vlog this house meeting or like about it but i'm gonna put that in like another video once we know for sure that this is happening so i don't get too excited and post too much about it with before it even happens and then it doesn't happen we'll see tomorrow i think i need to go check out this one restaurant for maybe a rehearsal dinner in july for a chicago wedding so we got a little bit to do but stay tuned that meeting was very good i'll tell you guys more later we're just driving past our lot right now well our to be lot i mean it is ours right now but you know what i mean we made our reservation for Wildfire, which is my favorite restaurant, for earlier. So we're just checking out this, these houses. Walking into this house that's getting built in our community because we're seeing if it's the same layout that we want. Well, yeah, this is the double story like Colin wants. And they have like a screened in patio area with the wood like that that's cool and then the kitchen there this is nice hi it's the next day i don't even know what i filmed yesterday i forget the last clip after wildfire we went to get colin's um suit measurements for a wedding he's in we're going to new jersey no we're going to new york in like a month so he had to get fitted for a tux and then i'm sitting here on my couch editing a vlog and yesterday i was just on pinterest for so 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 long um maybe i should ask you guys what your opinion is on this let me get it one sec okay so this is my insta story that i'm just gonna show you what i wrote so we were trying to figure out whether to do like a living room right to the left and I don't like it. I prefer like doing a study there and then a media room next door to it like this. So it could be like a place where the kids hang out other than the family room. So like you have that separated like that. So like this is what it would be like. Um, on the left is the living room and then a study. But I think a living room is dumb because no one ever sits in there. So I wanted a study and then a media room. So then, if you don't understand that, I mean, basically, the left is the living room photos, the right is a media study. Um, I think it's just more practical and I think it'll get used more. And this is kind of like a sneak peek of our um, floor plan. So like you walk in right there and then there's a foyer and then a living room on the left and a study, but I would like to switch it to this and put, can you see, a study there and a media room there and then it's next to the family room right there. So it'd just be like a bonus room to like have another TV in there and hang out because no one goes in this living room, you know? So I'm just trying to make space of everything. And then basically I just asked you guys on there your opinions on like, um, what are the tr what are the house trends of like 2019 or later because obviously open concept is a big house trend and like more l hanging out space like people have two islands now like it's like a cooking island and then a bar sitting island so i was just trying to google like all this stuff like what would i want to incorporate in this house um i definitely want to try to do heated floors in the bathrooms but then i read that entryway is a new place for heated floors too like in the front of the house like when people arrive so basically i'm just like searching all that stuff and like finding all this stuff on pinterest like i found really great like organizational here let me show you like this kitchen stuff is like i die for it that's amazing to cut your vegetables or something and have the garbage under there 
organization for that. You can have a drawer just for baking supplies. So you have little containers and you put flour in there, sugar in there, pots with a roll out thing because that is like treacherous when you try to do like sort your pots. Um, kitchen organizational with little cubbies. And then my favorite is Oh, I really like this. My friend has this in her house, her parents' house, but it's like a like you can sweep up into the wall and it goes into this little trash bin, which I think is crazy. So I've been just looking up like all these. I've just been googling like all these like little secrets and little like home organizational things that you can put in your house that just make it so much more easier to live. So <laughs> just nicer to have if we can afford it so we'll see like I don't know how much all these extra things are gonna be so we'll see but these are like on the wish list so I don't know and today we're gonna go check out a rehearsal dinner place so I'll take you guys there too okay sorry this is like just me talking today but it's a weekend and I don't I'm not doing much so. we got some Polish dinner going on Huh. Ooh, and this is my favorite cucumber salad with it's cucumbers sliced and sour cream. It's so good. This is breaded pork chops. If I didn't say that. The idea for the rehearsal dinner. They have a band playing um, on Friday nights, so it'd be so cute. We have stopped into Walmart to. No, wait. We're stopped into Best Buy to check out all the different appliances and TVs um, just because we're super prepared, you know, we're trying to get really prepared to see what, um, how much all this extra appliances are going to cost because they give you like a certain number of money you can spend for all of that, but um, it's definitely going to go over that amount because appliances are super expensive. So we're just looking, looking at laundry things and just you know this is what we do because we're bored as hell like we literally this is like our life right now because we have nothing else to worry about we don't have a kid we're just you know walking the stores aimlessly so colin wants like the oven in the wall with like a separate hood no a separate like gas range and then nothing underneath so no like connected oven with the gas range but just the ovens on the wall but i think that's gonna be a lot oh yeah by the way i don't think i showed you my sunglasses they look super big here but they're new and i'll try to link them below i think they're sold out but i'll link a similar ones and then once these get back online i will show you them they're so cute i love it i needed some like this they look really big on my head right now but i swear they're cute these are the nice ones so you could do like the gas range by itself but then not do an oven underneath and then just do the ovens on the wall like that this is a dryer that's wi-fi enabled and i really need to know what that does like what can you do if it's wi-fi enabled like can you like i don't know i wish you could transfer washer to dryer via wi-fi because that's like the worst thing to have to do now decided to go see Isn't It Romantic and I tricked him into it so let's hope this movie's good. It's with Rebel Wilson, I'm so excited. Good morning. Um, I just got out of the shower, it's the next morning. But the movie, okay the first half was actually bad and the second half was funny. Michelle's crying to get down from the stairs and she knows she can do it on her own but she's a baby and just likes to cry about it. I think I'm gonna end the vlog here, I think. I'm as white as this towel, so I'm gonna start a new vlog though today because we're doing something interesting. So go check out the new vlog and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.